Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1499. Hey, in this video, we got to see how to use the VLOOKUP function or the INDEX function to join various items to create a transactional description. Now, we'll get to see how to do it the obvious way with two VLOOKUPs. Then we'll see how to do an array formula where we use INDEX. And then we'll do another common sense solution where we use a single VLOOKUP, but we alter the lookup table. Now, if we go over to 1499, here's our transactional data set. Date, transaction number, product, units, and sales. Now, we have to create a description. And when we got this data set, it didn't have this column. And the rule is we take the transaction number, which is part of each row, we add a colon and a space. Then we have to look up the supplier based on product in this lookup table. Then a space dash space. And then look up based on product, the state. Now, for our first couple examples, I left this here. We'll assume we didn't alter the lookup table and we're not allowed to. This is it. So in essence, we have to look up two different items, bring them back, and join them to the transaction number. Well, we can certainly look up items using equals VLOOKUP. The lookup item that I'm going to try and match is the product for the particular row, comma. The table, that's the entire table. And I'm going to lock it with the F4 key, comma. The column number index, that means which item do I want to look up? Is it in the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth column? Now, for the first supplier, it's in the second column, so we simply put a 2 there, comma. We're doing exact match because we're looking up a product. You can put false or a 0, close parentheses. Now, I'm actually going to cheat in edit mode. I'm going to highlight with my I-beam cursor, Control-C. If I Control-Enter to put the formula in the cell and keep the cell selected, and then double-click the fill handle to copy it all the way down, that's a single VLOOKUP. It's working. It's getting the supplier. Now, notice I copied it all the way down. And at the top, I have an active cell. I can simply use F2 to edit the formula for the entire column in the top cell. Now I need to join that VLOOKUP to a second VLOOKUP. The join symbol is Shift 7 or ampersand. Now, I actually can't just join Control V and then change the column because state state is in backspace the fifth for column. Now, I can't just join those two because I actually need some text between. So after the first ampersand, double quotes, space, dash, space, and double quote, and then a second ampersand. What I'm doing is I'm joining one VLOOKUP and some text in double quotes. Remember, text always has to be double quotes if it's in a formula. And I'm joining to a third item, that VLOOKUP. Now, this formula is edited. And because I have the whole column highlighted, I can use Control-Enter to populate that formula all the way down. Now, we still need to join that with the transaction number. So active cell at the top, F2. Right after the equal sign, I'm going to click on transaction number. And I need to join it, so I use ampersand. And then in double quotes, colon, space, and double quote, and then another join symbol. So I have one, two, three, four, five different things I'm joining together. Because I have five items I'm joining, I have one, two, three, four ampersands. Now I use Control Enter to populate that edited formula all the way down. I'm going to control down arrow to go to the last cell and hit F2. I'm just verifying that all the cell references are working. Escape, control home to jump back to cell A1. Now we can do this a different way. We can actually, instead of using two VLOOKUPs and joining them, I could simply cut to the chase and join supplier and state right in one of the columns in the lookup table. So in P5 equals, and I'm going to arrow over to get supplier, ampersand, in double quotes, space, dash, space, and double quotes, ampersand, and arrow over to get state. Control-Enter, double-click, and send it down. 
that's looking good. Now it's a matter of simply doing a VLOOKUP in the sixth column. So here equals, and I'm going to arrow over to get the transaction. Join. In double quotes, I have the colon and the space and double quotes and join it to VLOOKUP. We're going to look up quad, comma, in the table, all six columns, F4 to lock it, comma, six, comma, zero, close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom. I'm just going to go down a certain way in F2. I'm just verifying that I got all of the cell references right, and Enter. Now, if we didn't want to do two VLOOKUPs or have this extra column, we could use INDEX, because we're trying to look up simultaneously supplier and state. If we join these two columns right in our formula, we, in essence, will create that helper column, but inside the INDEX function. And we're going to make an array calculation, and the index function can handle array operations without any special keystroke. So index. Yes, index is a lookup function, different than VLOOKUP. Array, those are the items we're trying to look up. That array contains only the items. That's different than VLOOKUP, where you have a whole table, including the first column where you're trying to match. So watch this. Right in Array, I'm going to highlight the whole supplier column, F4 to lock it, and then join it to our text in double quotes, and then join it to the state. Be sure to lock that with the F4 key. Now this is an array operation because any operator, whether math operator or join or comparative, if you are doing an operation not on a single item and another single item, but lots of items simultaneously, then you're making an array calculation. And that array argument in index can handle array operations without the special keystroke control shift enter. In fact, there are only five functions in Excel index, lookup, aggregate, chi, square, test, and some product. All five of those functions have special arguments where they can handle those array operations without doing a special keystroke. Comma. Now we need to figure out which row number. In VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP automatically looks something up, races through and finds a match, and gives the row number. Well, we don't have VLOOKUP here, but we can use the MATCH function. The MATCH function does exactly that. It looks something up. We're going to look up the product comma, within a certain range, highlight that in F4, comma, and we're doing exact match, so I put a 0, close parentheses. So match looks up the product, races through until it finds a match, and then reports the row number, or actually it reports the relative position. And since those two columns that we joined have the same number of rows or relative positions, Match will report to index the correct position. So for quad, if we're counting on our fingers, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down to the 11th row. So inside array, it will find gel booms and California concatenated or joined. All right, so that will give us the last part of our description. Close parentheses, Control, Enter, double click and send it down. Now I'm going to hit F2, and right after the equal sign, there's the transaction number. Joined in double quotes with a colon and a space, and then another ampersand. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Go down a little bit and hit F2. I'm just verifying that everything's locked and the relative cell references are working. All right, so I'm curious, which one do you like? Do you like the two VLOOKUPs, the single VLOOKUP with the join, or the index, or do you have some other way to do this? Post in the comments below, and we'll have more fun with Excel. All right, that was a lot of fun with creating a description using VLOOKUP or index. And if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and sub. 
because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is fun. We'll see you next video.